Sun Devil season ends in disappointment here in Vegas as Arizona State goes down to Utah 90-57. The final score unable to complete the trifecta against the Utes this year and with a 14-18 record, no chance of postseason. Scott Sandilli with Blaze Radio's Kevin Belater. Kevin was on the call for tonight's game. Kevin, what did you see from your perspective? I mean, I think what Bobby Hurley said post game perfectly, I think, described it, which was just a lack of defense and a lack of closeouts. I mean, this was just one of the worst defensive performances I think I've seen from Arizona State in, you know, multiple years of covering them now. I mean, it was very uncharacteristic of them, but this was also just a very uncharacteristic season for ASU in terms of the ups and downs. I know Coach Hurley's tenure has been filled with a lot of, it's essentially been a roller coaster. But, I mean, tonight, I mean, you just look at it. I mean, tied for the worst loss in conference tournament history. Um, Utah shot the lights out of the gym tonight. And when that happens and when you lose one of your top offensive producers last week like they did in Jose Perez, nights like tonight are probably going to happen. You really told us how they kind of lost that ability to play inside out by losing Jose Perez, the top slasher, really on the team. And it took a toll on this offense, especially with, like you said, Utah shooting the lights out. You, you, Arizona State wasn't able to get its fast break offense going. So, obviously, disaster occurred for ASU. But uh, Bobby really kept it pretty straight with us in the postgame presser, as he always does. And uh, what were kind of your thoughts on some of the comments? I'll just say this in terms of just something that I think a lot of people have been wondering about, you know, what Hurley's future is with the program. For the rumors of him leaving or not being here, that was one of the most passionate press conferences I think I've seen from a coach who's gotten blown out, to, to put it nicely. They got blown out tonight. And the passion that he was speaking with and talking about Frankie Collins and Alonzo Gaffney and how he pretty much says I need to revamp everything and revamp this program, I think says a lot about you know his intentions on being here for a while. And he's never been one to back down from a challenge. I mean, he played at Duke. Christian Leitner. I mean, he's the guy who won multiple national championships. So I, I think for me, I think the big thing is just the passion he spoke with. And, you know, that's not something you see a whole lot from a coach who just lost by 30 plus points in a, in a conference tournament game with achievement on the line. And what really came off to me the most was how early was talking about having to revamp the roster mm -hmm. to be able to get ready for the Big 12, the league of grown men. Uh, there was an expert in there that I won't say. But, uh, Definitely, it seems to me that he's committed to this program and committed to seeing this through and getting ASU better and back to better days that was seen in last year's tournament run. But in the end, a season marred by injury, a couple of off-the-court issues, and simply just losing too much of a tournament team ends up being the downfall of the Sun Devils 2023-2024 season. From Las Vegas, Scott Sanduli, Kevin Moore.